here at the Painswick Architecture Festival 2012. Today we're going to be chatting to some of the fashion designers, the models and more importantly the judges and we're going to find out who's won the all-important Painswick Architecture Festival Award. Okay, Stephen, you up first. So, are you having a lovely day today? Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, it's early in the morning. We've just started. The first heat is underway at the moment. I mean, the head candy competition is going to be fabulous. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. And I've seen a few things around, but I'm really going to see it properly in the competition. The sun's out, and there's lots of people here, and we're looking for the most unusual hats. very hard to um, to judge because you just love all of them really. It's amazing to see what these young people are doing and I remember when I was that age making things out of bubble wrap and wire and <laughs> tinsel and thinking it was so fabulous and it's you can tell who's gonna go a long way because it, it's something you can't not do if you're a designer or a sort of artist it's, it's an outlet for you is it? it's really exciting to see these young people doing their, their thing. Tim, how was it to be performing on stage this afternoon? Oh, it was amazing. I mean, I love feeding off the crowd as well, so the more people, it just gave me a lot of enthusiasm. And it, was just, it, it felt really good. Yes, indeed, we did play here last year, and uh, we think it's one of the most beautiful festivals we've ever played at. Uh, beautiful, amazing costumes. I see there's a lady running around with fish attached to her skirt. You know. <laughs> inspired by Japan because of what's been going on with the earthquakes and things and also the culture that we're getting from Asia at the moment how it's infecting us in the Western world. So from designers like Izzy Miyake, Yoji Yamamoto, architects like Shigeru Ban um, who are kind of using a sustainable approach to both fashion and art and design. Have you enjoyed the Art Couture Festival so far? Yeah, it's been amazing. Because you were judging, weren't you, sort of earlier on? Yes. So I did the 12 to 18 and then under 12s and over 18s. Wow. And there's some phenomenal talent, isn't there? It's been amazing this year. Really amazing. So is there anything, can you give me any tips of anything that might have caught your eye and be like, oh, I love that one? Quite a few. Yeah? Quite a few, yeah. I can't give you any hints of who the winners are, though. Oh, really? No, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So you know the area quite well. You obviously come to the Cotswolds quite a lot. Sort of. Well, it's so beautiful. Mm. I mean, it's hard not to. I know. Yeah. It is. It is lovely. And also, we've had sunshine. I, know. I mean, it's getting really hot now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's been a great day. It's like it's just come out for the festival. So Millie, tell me all about your outfit. Um, well, it's made out of ironed inside out crisp packets yeah. and then we cut them into templates and it's called fish and chips. Fish and chips, that's appropriate isn't it? I just cannot believe how amazing it is and I tell you, everybody is looking at you every day, everywhere you walk, oh my god that's such an amazing outfit, how does that feel? It feels nice because like, 
yeah, it's really fun to like show what you've made because yeah. then everyone like appreciates it. George, I must say, before we start this interview, we've drawn a little bit of a crowd. Uh, George has had one of the biggest audiences today whilst he was performing on stage. How was it performing today? It was blooming awesome. Um, it's been one of the nicest um, crowds I think I've ever had, and a great festival as well. I really like the feel and the stage is superbly fantastic. <laughs> How would you describe your music? What style of music have you been performing? The style of music that I do, I, I get asked this question a lot, so I decided to invent a word, which is fuzz rock, which is funk, jazz, rock and pop. Amazing. So, yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what my style is, because I, I like to change it up. I like to write in all different styles and keep it new and fresh and different and just have fun. Is there anything that really stood out for you today? I thought the body art was phenomenal, not least because actually it's a little bit chilly, isn't it? And those models were incredibly patient. But the talent is six hours. The patience to spend six hours painting like that, they were just phenomenal. <laughs> I've taken my inspiration from the Olympics and their opening ceremony. Well, the theme is celebrating Britain, so I've decided to go for a British comedy. I focused on the British summer, so it's the seaside and the fairgrounds, and I looked up all the, all the classic sort of things to do with that. Starting off, we've got the landmarks, the architecture, yeah. um, mixed with the fashion, because obviously there's a lot of new up-and-coming British designers, so I wanted to celebrate that. Celebrating all that's fantastic about Britain. I thought it would be quite funny to do him as Queenie from Blackadder. We've got the Welsh dragon and the George and the dragon. The stripy leggings and the banana boots are Billy Connolly. Wish you were here, love it. <laughs> <laughs> Swans, which are owned by our good Queen and the Union Jack. Irish comedy, we've got Father Ted and Cups of Tea. We also have the Angel of the North, we've got Inverness Castle, and then you'll see this amazing back. Working Dad's Army, turning into Monty Python's Flying Circus with the Red Arrows. And to top it all off, we've got some cupcakes, just to uh, show the, you know, the British hospitality, really. It's really past, present, and the future to come for our great British colony. Do you know what? I feel really like touched. Good. Glad. To, I'm proud idea. to be British. That's all I can say. Well, we had six hours to do it. Plus, obviously, before that, we had to do all the designs and all the prep time and making things for it. So okay. it's been a long process. And what I can't believe is with this body art, obviously, they put so much work into creating this and then it gets washed off at the end of the day. And how do you feel about that? I think that's the beauty of it. That's what I really love about it, that you, you spend all this time and then you have to really quickly take the photos before it's all gone. Oh. One day only. <laughs> Lovely day, phenomenal talent. You know, I, I think we don't necessarily appreciate what we have here. And you look at this is a sleep little village. I live here. This is home, uh, and much of what's happened here today is very much local talent. And these are people that you don't even know can do what they can do. Uh, and you watch them on stage, amazing. <laughs> see this outfit is one incredible and the designer is even more incredible and this is Kirsten and tell me a little bit about your outfit well the winning outfit of the day well um, it was all inspired I guess the theme was circus um, and I picked up a whole bunch of tents from best of all two years ago and they're all abandoned tents and how long did it take you to make this probably about 150 hours 
So these are all ind individual, like all from different tens, and you have sewn everything together. I'm gonna nod, I'm gonna do the nod now, which is special, go for it. <laughs> it's just amazingly incredible. Okay, so we have now come to the end of the most amazing day at the Painswick Art Couture Festival. I've had an amazing time. Have you, Holly? It's been absolutely fantastic. Today we estimated that there are about 8,000 people here. Last year, they, the event organisers estimated about 5,000. So it's been a huge increase. And fingers crossed for 2013 that we'll have 10,000 people. And we will be filming it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, it is uh, time to say goodbye from us from our designer lounge. And we'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.